الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله الطاهرين وصحابته الغر الميامين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد سو تونايت إن شاء الله تعالى ويكارين ودوا الرسالة أوف الشيخ العلامة صالح الفوزان حفظه الله تعالى من أصول عقيدة أهل السنة والجماعة فاندمنتو بليفز أوف المسلم So this risala, as we have mentioned previously, is very important risala. It's easy to understand. Um, so as for tonight, inshallah, uh, inshallah ta'ala, we're going to speak about names of the saved sects and their meanings. So the Sheikh Sahih al-Fawzani said, due to the fact that, uh, uh, that this sect is uh, saved from the misguidance, it is necessary to know its names and signs so that it can be recognized and followed. So the Sheikh Salah Fawzan is going to mention the signs and the sifat of this jama'ah, which is the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, will be saved from the hellfire in order for the Muslims to come to know this jama'ah and to be with them and to aid them and to stick with them. So the Sheikh Salah Fawzan, the Alama Salah Fawzan, Allah Ta'ala, may Allah preserve him, he said it has great names by which is distinguished from all the deviant sects. From the most important of these names and signs is that it is known as the save, saved sect. And the Ta'if al-Mansura, the victorious group. So a saved sect meaning uh, and the victorious group meaning the Ta'if uh, al-Mansura and the uh, people of the Sunnah, likewise the other name, Ahl uh, al-Sunnati wal Jama'ah. So then the Sheikh Havidah Ta'ala goes on to mention the meaning of these names will follow shortly. It is the saved sect, meaning saved from the hellfire, wh whereby the Prophet Sallallahu excluded it from the uh, from the this threat. Kullu uh, nar, all of it will be in the hellfire. So the Hadith. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, mentioned, which is collected by Abu Dawood and, and Tirmidhi uh, on the authority of Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan and Abdullah ibn Amr ibn Al-As, that uh, all my Ummah uh, uh, will enter into Jannah, all the groups will enter Jannah, oh, said, all of them, sorry, all of them in the hellfire except one. So he said, what, uh, what are they? So, uh, so the, they are saved, sect meaning they are saved from the threats which Prophet Muhammad mentioned that all of them in the hellfire. Kulluha fin nar illa wahida. All are in the hellfire except one. Meaning it is not in the hellfire. The second one, it holds firmly. So this is the second. I'm the first sign they are saved sect. The second one, it holds firmly to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And to the, which uh, the 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 sabiqun, which is ashab the sahaba of the messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam were upon which is the muhajirun and the ansar as the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi mentioned in the hadith hum man kana ala mithl ma ana alayhi al yawma wa ashabi uh, they are those who are upon that which I and my companions are upon today and the third one the third characteristic uh, its people are known as the people of Sunnah and the Jama'ah. So they are distinguished by two great qualities. The first quality is that they cling tightly to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah until, until they became a people that are ascribed to it as opposed to the rest of the deviant sects for they cling to their opinions and their desires and the saying of their leaders. Now, so, Ahl al-Sunnati wal Jama'ah, they cling firmly. Yuqaddimoon al-Sunnah, yuqaddimoon al-Naqla ala al-Aqal. They give the Naqal, the Quran, the Sunnah, precedence over the, the Aqal. Naam, so they, they hold firmly. Not just by, by claiming, rather they implement it. Naam. And they don't follow their leaders. They don't follow their leaders, they don't blind follow their leaders. Whatever their leaders tell them, they have to follow it. No. Because we know that uh, uh, 
ولي رسوله عليه الصلاه والسلام the book of Allah uh, book of Allah is infallible and the prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wassalam we follow him alayhi salatu wassalam blindly is ila sahat ta'bir na'am if the same is correct unrestricted following we are following unrestrictedly na'am we follow him unrestrictedly na'am so therefore these deviant sects are not ascribed to the sunnah rather they are ascribed to their innovations and misguidance like the Qadariya and the Murji'a or their leaders like the Jahmiya or today vile acts like the Khawarij and the Rafida. Subhanallah. Naam, so they oppose the people of desires, the lack of the Murji'a and inshallah later on uh, we'll explain these groups in detail because as we have mentioned these classes is for the layman Muslims likewise for the non-Muslims because uh, as I've mentioned many times, I've been stopped by the Muslims, laymen, Muslims, and even the non-Muslims, subhanAllah, watching the videos. May Allah give us sincerity, and may Allah make us humble, and may Allah uh, uh, keep us firm upon his deen, inwardly and outwardly. I mean, so therefore, then the Sheikh Hafidah Ta'ala said, so we don't, they don't follow their leaders or their ideas. Uh, so the Sheikh said, this is uh, in, in uh, opposition to the misguided sect who do not gather upon the, the, no, I'm sorry, the second, so the first quality, they're for the sunnah. No, they, they, uh, they, they cling to it tightly. No, the second one, they are known to be jama'ah. No, they don't split. No, they call to unite, but unite upon what? The Quran and the sunnah. No, not unite upon uh, opinions and, and desires. So the second distinguishing quality is that they are the people of the jama'ah because of the jama'ah upon the truth. Now because they unite, so they're called to unity because they unite upon the truth and the absence of separation. So rather, al Sunnah, not like as some people accuse them of, uh, try to uh, cause the, uh, the, uh, uh, to uh, division amongst the ummah. No, we call to unity, but. Upon what? Not unity upon falsehood. No, no, no. Allah said, Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat leish lil nas leish ta'amuruna bil ma'roof wa tanahawna an al munkar wa tu'minuna billah. You are the best people that brought out, you are the best nation, the meaning of the verse. You are the best nation that brought out to the people. Why? Because you enjoy good and forbid the evil and you believe in Allah. So Allah mentioned, enjoy good before, uh, uh, and forbid the evil be before believing Allah. The scholars mentioned, the, why? Because the, the, the previous nations were known to believe in Allah, but they never had this special characteristic of enjoying good and forbidding the evil. So we enjoy good and forbid the evil. So if, uh, if the Muslims are following, uh, uh, some Muslims following misguidance and following ideas that not, uh, not, uh, not based upon the Quran and the Sunnah, we won't engage them and we won't engage it. Why? Because our, our love and, uh, uh, purely for Allah and His Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam. So they call to jama'ah, to unity. Unity upon the Quran and Sunnah is a condition. A tawheed. Naam and the Sunnah. No unity upon falsehood. Uh, don't worry, just brothers, brothers, let us unite. No, no, no. Otherwise, we'll be like the previous nations, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cursed and destroyed because they unite upon anything. No, we unite upon the Quran and the Sunnah. So, this is an opposition to the misguided sects who do not gather upon Allah Akbar, upon the truth, but rather follow their desires uh, 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 as they, there is no truth to unite them. <coughs> Now, the fourth one, it is the victorious group up till, until, up, uh, up till uh, the hour is established because it is aid, it's, uh, now because it aids the religion of Allah and as a result, Allah give it, or gives it victory as Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala said, in tansurullaha yansurkum wa yuthabbit aqdamakum. If you have the meaning of the verse, if you help in the cause of Allah, he will help you and make you foot hold firm. Foot hold firm. Surah Muhammad. Now, likewise, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, لَا يَضُرُّهُمْ مَنْ خَذَلَهُمْ وَلَا مَنْ خَالَفَهُمْ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَ أَمْرُ اللَّهِ وَهُمْ عَلَى ذَلِكِ They will not be harmed by those who oppose them or those who betray them. Well, those who betray them, people claiming to be upon the Sunnah, but in a time 
when uh, people of Sunnah are clarifying the truth to the people, so you see those who are claiming to be people of the, the, the Sunnah betraying them. Say, no, ya akhi, why you are refuting the Muslims? Why you are all of us Muslims? No, we don't refute the Muslims because they are Muslims. We don't refute the Muslims because they are Muslims. Muslim. No, because some Muslims are following their desires instead of following the Quran and the Sunnah. So we clarify the scholars and the students of knowledge, they clarify the truth and it's upon us to follow them and spread the truth and spread the warning against the people of desires and the people of innovation in order for our deen to be preserved and to, to remain the way it was revealed to the Messenger of Allah <coughs> Naam. Until Allah's commandments come to pass or uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the command of Allah is established and they are upon that way. They hold firmly. Naam, they don't care about how many people are following them or how, how many people are going against them. Because they, uh, as one of the scholars, Ayyub al-Sakhtiyani, may Allah have mercy upon him. People came to him, they said to him, don't you, don't you fear Allah? Don't you not fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? He says, why? I do fear Allah. They said to him, but how come you speak about many Muslims? You speak about many scholars. He says, I prefer on the day of judgment for all those people I, I spoke and guessed to be my enemy, then for Allah's Messenger so Wasallam to be my enemy. He will tell me, you know my sunnah and you never defended my sunnah. Look, Allah Akbar, how the scholars of the Salaf uh, uh, had love for the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Not just speaking, they defended it. But now what we see, SubhanAllah, we see our scholars, people lying against them. Likewise, our students of knowledge, people lying against them, waging a war against them. What is the reason? Because they backbite the Muslims. That's kidding. Backbiting the Muslims, haram. Naam? No, because they are defending the deen of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and because they keep exposing some people that you love personally and you're not happy with that. So that's why Allah preserved this deen. Naam? And this is for the non-Muslims as well. That's why Allah preserved this deen because we Muslims, we don't uh, uh, defend the Muslims even if they're doing falsehood. No, we, 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 uh, we expose them. Because why? Because we're, um, our main target is to preserve the deen. Naam, then the Sheikh Salah al-Fawzan said, the fundamental belief of Al-Sunnah al-Jama'ah, Al-Sunnah al-Jama'ah traverse upon uh, textual, established and the clear fundamental principles with regards to creed, actions and mannerisms. These mag magnificent fundamental principles are derived from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of His Messenger So Al-Sunnah follow what? The Usul. And these beautiful Usul are derived from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wassalam and that which the rightly guided Khulafa uh, predecessors of this nation were upon from the companions, their successors and those who followed them in goodness. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Surah Tawbah As-Sabiqoon al-Awwaloon min al-Muhajrina wal-Ansar wal-Ladheena tabaoohum bi-Ihsan Naam radiyallahu anhum wa radu an until the end of the verse Naam, Allah praise the Muhajir and the Ansar and those who follow them in goodness. As Salaf al Salih. Naam, the uh, uh, Sahaba, Tabi'un, wa Atiba al Tabi'in. Naam, the, the, uh, 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 the Sahaba, the companions or disciples of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, and their followers and their followers. So the Shaykh, inshallah ta'ala, he will start with the first principle, which believe in Allah, Naam, Arkanul Iman. The six pillars of Iman. So the Sheikh is going to mention generally believe in Allah and His angels and the books and the messengers and the last day and the Qadr, the, the, the pre decree. So these are six pillars of Iman. And look, many Muslims, they know and they memorized it, this meaning the six pillars of Iman, but some of them they do not believe in the six pillars of Iman according how the Messenger of Allah وسلم, believed in those six pillars of Iman, likewise companies. Because it's not just about believing in the six pillars of Iman, rather we have to believe in them according to the Quran and the, to the Quran and the Sunnah and how the Prophet Muhammad disciples believed in those six pillars of Iman. And inshallah we'll stop here and we carry on next time inshallah ta'ala. سبحانك الله وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك وصلى الله على إمامنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحابته أجمعين وسلم تسليما كثيرا بارك الله فيكم